and he's ready to throw. Let's get a few departing words from Blade. Na'Vi will not be going further forward in the tournament after they drop 2-0 to Heroic here. Blade, I want to just talk about the overpass to start off with, right? We know when it gets to overtime, we know when it gets drawn out, it becomes more crazy, it becomes more wild. But what was going on inside the team at that point? Because you guys lost to some of those pistol rounds that you wouldn't normally lose to. Did that change anything? Did that change the mentality of the team? Talk me through it, please. Well, I think overpass was might be less practice, actually. Okay. And But eventually... It was a relief that we was like 15, 14, and I think I was almost confident that we will win this round. Yeah. And then, I don't know, this mistake was stuck in my head. Okay, it happens. We we must um, we must uh, take it. Like you know, yeah, yeah. we cannot do anything about it now. But I think, uh, as I said before, like we didn't practice a lot for our pool. I think. Uh, they picked proper map overpass and because of that we couldn't close a lot of rounds on overpass uh, in terms of like macro understanding like and precise details like what the, the margins, right? yeah who should do with something like yeah. important and I think we will work a lot on this map and um, it will be much better and in terms of that right did the veto throw you off at all did you expect overpass did you expect something different we expect mirage or overpass okay. two maps yep. Um, and we prepared both cool. um, and we didn't expect Inferno on third, but we, we were really happy. Yeah, of course, and yeah. Too bad we didn't go for, for it. And, and on engine, I think, uh, I don't know, maybe men mentally yeah. we thought about that and we started li really slow. And at the end of the, a lot of rounds, we started like, we were starting good in terms of how we want to control the map, how we want to make the rotations on the map and we over i think uh, uh, our duels was not so good i think we lost a lot of duels yeah, head -head. they were aggressive at some point and we couldn't out aim them um i don't know i don't know what, why it happened so because on, on overpass it was yeah. much more yeah. better on yeah, t side definitely, definitely. And we just saw Simba obviously very unhappy, storm off the stage. You were talking to the guys as well. Can you give me any insight to like what that quick debrief was about, what you guys were discussing? He is not happy at all because uh, I think we played really bad uh, that overpass, like some close rounds. And on Ancient, I think it was important to, to, to stick to the plan, to stick yeah. to, to, to your role. Uh, some of the rounds was strictly like, um, discipline, right? And he was not uh, happy that discipline was not so good in that rounds, considering that we discussed it like it's very important. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. overall, I think uh, they did a good job on city side, uh, preparing for our city side. And just last question, where does this put you now going into the major? Has this given you a great idea of what you need to work on, what you want to do, where to put a focus? I know you spoke about the boot camp you'll go on to. Well, it gives us the confidence. Like uh, we are, we are, con uh, we are stable. Like semi-finals team, right? <laughs> yeah. we, we were sp speaking with you about consistency. <laughs> like yes. can see, we are the team of consistency. We are playing uh, all semi-finals. Okay. Uh, so we just need not to relax, to add some more, and to understand that we need need this step yeah. to go to the finals. Not even win. Like at least to go to the finals. Get that feeling again. Finally, we'll have a good boot camp now, and I think. We must be much better. Blade, I love your interviews. I love your honesty. Thank you very much, man. We'll see you soon. Navi are done here and the grand final.